There are five rounds left in season 2024, and these top four and top eight races are getting hornier by the second. As for who's going to win the comp, well, let's not cry about that just yet. Let's enjoy the rugby league while we still have it, because for most of these clubs, they only have five games max left. For some, it's actually even less. Last week, through a bunch of spanners in the works, after everyone to use their joke around the rugby league gods gave us some upsets for no reason other than to screw rugby league tipping across the nation. The swimming is done in the Olympics so all the focus turns back to rugby league as the gold medals fall down the drain so let's get straight into these round 23 tips. South host the Melbourne Storm and South Sydney well their top 8 hopes were pretty much over from very early on this season they are officially done and now injuries upon injuries are piling up and what has been a pretty much decimated roster throughout most of 2025 was the Melbourne Storm a shock loss? Probably their first shock loss since the Manly game. The minor premiership, it is dangling as Penrith get their full team back. And it's South Sydney versus Melbourne. I feel like other than that one game in 2018, this fixture always goes one way. The Titans taking on the Sharks. And how incredible is it the Gold Coast Titans are actually favourites in this one? And honestly, I can't blame the bookies for it. The Titans have been playing outstanding footy. They've somehow kept their top eight hopes alive, which is actually incredible when you consider how they've started. They're going to do incredible things next year. The Cronulla Sharks, well, you think they have to win to stay in the top four. They've got a very easy run, but they are not playing like a team who should be in the top four at the moment. In saying that, as good as the Titans have been, this is a game historically they have dropped, but I'm going to have hope here. I'm going to go with the Gold Coast Titans because they have been playing much better footy. They have to win, and while the Cronulla Sharks are struggling pretty much in all areas of the game at the moment, I think the Titans strike can get them home at home. The Eels hosting Penrith and look, historically, before this year in that earlier game, you'd back the Eels to win this one no matter how the teams were going. The Parramatta Eels, well, they've gone absolutely off the rails. They bounced back well last week. Did they bounce back one week too early? Penrith, they want to get that minor premiership. We know how Penrith operate. They're going to be filthy. They almost lost the game to Newcastle at home last week. They're going up against Penrith, at least their biggest rival. So I'm going to go Penrith and I'm going to go Penrith 13+. Plus. The Raiders are still desperate to hang on to a top eight spot. They host Manly coming off a bye. And on paper, Manly should win this and win this one well. Manly also blew a 20 nil lead to the Raiders early on this year at Brookie Oval. So who knows what's going on? The Raiders were great last week and they've been great ever since Jamal Fogarty came back in and Ricky Stewart always finds a way to sneak into the top eight. And the Raiders, they do everything well that Manly won't and this matchup is greatly suited to the Raiders. I'm going to go with Manly though because of course I'm going to back my team. Manly have to win if they want any chance of keeping a top four spot and they probably have to win considering how well the Cowboys or Bulldogs are going just to get a home final in week one. So it's a bit of a desperate matchup, a bit of finals footy come early which we always love to see in this back end of the season. So while I do think Raiders are absolute specials because of the matchup, I'm going to go Manly and I'm going to go Manly 1-12. to The Queensland Derby is on a Saturday at 5.30pm and did the NRL predict the downfall of the Brisbane Broncos, so I can't believe that this is going on. And the Brisbane Broncos, while well, they're back to their dramatic fall-off at the end of 2022. I can't believe how bad the Brisbane Broncos are going. Even some of their key players aren't playing anywhere near the potential that they were last year or that we know they're capable of. Cowboys, the way they played, they should have lost last week. Todd Payton knows that they probably would have lost to basically any other team but the West Tigers. So I think the Cowboys, they know you have to be in the top four to win the comp. And to be honest, outside of the top three. They've probably got the closest team on paper to do it. They've got the most origin players for a reason. So I see Cowboys winning, and on paper, it shouldn't be the case at all. But based on what I've seen the last couple of weeks, I've got Cowboys and Cowboys to absolutely put a field day on the Broncos. Match of the round. How incredible is that? The Dragons, they host the Bulldogs at what should be a packed stadium out there in Cogra. These two teams have been so bad, along with the Tigers for so long. And unlike the Tigers, they're actually showing signs of life. Without taking the spotlight away from the Dragons, you've got to admit the Bulldogs have been much better of the two this year, but the Dragons are coming off their best win of the season. If anything can turn around the inconsistency that the Dragons have had, it's winning their first game in Melbourne since 1999. 
And the Bulldogs, they went to war at home last weekend. Their fans carried on like they won a grand final. And while you love to see it, it was actually quite hilarious. The Dragons have lost 1-1-1. One, one, one. It feels like ever since Anne's out round. And coming off that huge win, Mass and History would say that they would get the job done. But I'm going to spoil the party just so I can actually have an upset in these tips. I'm going to go this in Georgia Laura Dragons. It definitely won't be 13+. plus. I can't see the Dogs losing 13+, plus the way they play. And on paper, it's actually pretty pretty closer than you might think considering the form line of these teams but the doggies they're gonna hang in they're gonna have the fight and if both teams play to their best you could argue the dragons win i know what i'm gonna get from the dogs i don't know what i'm gonna get from the dragons and that's why i think it's gonna be fun to tip them am i going to live to regret it most definitely Sunday, the Finns, they're hosting the Warriors, and oh my god, the Warriors. They're going to have to have their own video because they're just one of these teams who have absolutely capitulated in the back half of 2024. Mathematically, they're still alive, but let's be honest, they're probably very unlikely to make finals. The Dolphins, well, that was probably their best game considering all the injuries they've got at the moment. It was quite a good effort against the Sydney Roosters. The defense hasn't been great but the Warriors' attack hasn't been great either. And if this becomes a good old-fashioned shootout, I see the Dolphins winning. And to be honest, with how desperate they're going to be, I see the Finns winning 13+. Plus. And finally, the Knights taking on the Tigers. The Knights probably had their best game I've seen from them before their last losing streak against Manly and the Broncos, respectively. Meanwhile, the Tigers, well, they have to jag a win before that Eels game. They probably have to jag two wins at this point because they are looking firmer and firmer for the wooden spoon, the Knights, they've actually still in a great position to make the top eight. They currently sit in front of the Warriors and just behind the Gold Coast Titans, which is actually incredible to think about. But I'm going to tip Newcastle. That may not shock anyone, but I do think the Tigers could cause an upset in here. That's just the way the Knights have been under Adam O'Brien. But I am not tipping the Tigers because I've actually watched Rugby League this decade. But there you have it, the Michael Jordan round 23. There are my tips. I'm taking the Melbourne Storm 13 plus, the Titans 1 to 12, the Panthers 13 plus, Manly 1 to 12, the Cowboys by 50,000, the Dragons 1 to 12, the Dolphins by however many they want, and the Newcastle Knights by probably 20 plus. But there are my round 23 tips. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know as always in that comment section below your tips for round 23. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet already, and I'll see you in the next one.